What is Scrum and what makes it probably the best development methodology? Scrum is an agile method. In contrast to the waterfall model, with a previously very precise and elaborate product specification, the Scrum methodology relies on fast iterations and checking the results, preferably directly with a potential customer, in each cycle. Scrum doesn't even have the claim to be able to survey everything in advance, like in classic specifications. Behind this is the conviction that requirements in our time are changing very fast, even during development, and that it's not clear in advance what the customers really want and how they will use the product. Scrum saves time, money and above all, a lot of nerves. Sounds too good to be realized? Not quite. Also in the field of automotive or hardware development, one can score with a Scrum approach. If you think of Scrum programs in hardware, you have to keep in mind that simply copying that from software projects can't succeed, since you have to consider special challenges. It's hard to build a presentable hardware prototype at the end of each sprint, because that's where we talk about high costs. Another example is the integration of numerous interfaces, for example with other departments or with external suppliers. However, the motivation to use Scrum in hardware is great. Once the challenges have been mastered, the benefits are obvious. When we talk about benefits, the major one is acceleration. There will be a much shorter time to market. That's why they say with Scrum you can do twice the work in half the time. But there's more. For example, we see higher productivity and lower development costs because we focus on the really important requirements. Also, the product addresses actual customer needs more effectively, resulting in a higher market value. We expect fewer failed projects and reduced and more controllable project risks. And finally, of course, more innovative ideas. How does that work? How can Scrum be adapted for automotive and hardware? The product owner plays a central role in classic Scrum. He does as well in automotive Scrum. Especially for large projects, the requirements for a product owner increase. Management of the backlog, responsibility of the economy, customer requirements, suppliers, representation of the stakeholders towards the team, quality and so on. Besides the product owner, the HR way of working should be emphasized. Teams should work together in the same location. Shorter paths and direct communication accelerate the development. Teams get better by learning from each other from sprint to sprint. The velocity, the done story points increases. Frequent changes of team members on the other hand would reduce the velocity and development speed. Keep the use of tools moderate because often people too much focus on task management tools and then call it HL work. Much more useful is often a physical board that promotes interaction and communication. And probably the most important but hardest point for most employees with a classical project management background, the learning and living of the HR values. Focus, openness, respect, courage and commitment. Over and over we are asked about the contract design between OEM and suppliers or service providers in Scrum projects. We have had a good experience with starting with a requirements workshop to discuss story mapping and prioritization. The development team can then better make a rough estimate of the time required to meet the most important requirements. Next, the customer or OEM purchases the service on a weekly basis at an agreed price. The nice thing is that the customer can continuously adapt the direction of the development that did not exist so far. The developers can take the time to deliver the best quality and take no technical depth. The customer is much happier because instead of a finished product, which he unfortunately has adapted later with several change requests, he is able to correct the course several times during the runtime. So Scrum is not the same as Scrum, but has to be adapted in every operational context. Therefore, we first analyze the existing process, point out the weak points and from our experience, provide the most suitable scaling approaches to enlarge the team to automotive standards.